building up to this moment for a long time. Two at a time. Doing it. First time ever. Two at a time, boys. Really doing it. Halfway there. It's a hot day. It's finally summer here in Maine. Just halfway to the scrapyard. Picked up a whole bunch of vehicles over the uh, over the weekend before the fourth and Crappyard decided to close for a few days for a vacation, so a little bit of a backup. I said it's finally time. Finally time just to do it, just to try it. Hook up the car trailer to the ramp truck. Two at a time. We got the new uh, chorizo and egg wrap. Not bad. Basically a little melted filling with lots of cheese. A little spiciness from the chorizo. Some eggs in there, some peppers. Not bad, a little something different for change. The wrap itself is like uh, real hard. Like it's been uh, baked a few times or something. Probably because it's already made, you know. They're not wrapping these things up when you order them. Not, not at Dunkin' Donuts. So, like you would get, you know, a frozen one in the store. Like a Hot Pocket or some sort of a wrap that comes frozen in a burrito. Um, feels like they, they put it in the little, uh, they probably put it in that little oven doesn't seem microwaved. It's kind of nice. A little crunchiness to the shell. Probably not the best thing to eat on a uh, day where it's already hot. It's supposed to be up to 90 today. Just became summer here in Maine. And been cold and rainy, rain and rain and rain and rain for days. But of course, on a lot of um, a lot of ramp trucks now. For a second, what do you call it? Is it a ramp truck? Is it a rollback? Is it a wrecker? Flatbed? 
a lot of people call them different things. I've always just liked saying ramp truck because, I mean, it's got a ramp on it. You put it down as a ramp, you put the car on, but a lot of people corrected me and said that the proper name for it is a rollback truck. I don't know. Not really rolling back, it's more sliding back, but I guess. And then uh, it's funny because everyone kind of calls it something different. I have a few, you know, old guys in town and say, how's that old wrecker? I see you got a wrecker. I see you bought a wrecker. Well, it's definitely not a wrecker. A wrecker is a, a truck with a sling on the back, a wheel lift, whatever. Pick up the car from the front or the back and leave two wheels on the ground. Tow it like that. I like the looks of wreckers. I always kind of wanted an old uh, square body wrecker, you know, just to drive around, but for towing junk cars, it's uh, not really the best choice, because I mean, not only do you, the car is touching the ground, so technically it's unregistered, you know, if it's a junk car, it's just... Uh, the wheels are touching the ground. You gotta, gotta have a plate on there. Of course, up here in Maine, nobody really cares too much. But you passed by the right DOT cop, and he felt like it. He could give you, give you some trouble for it. Now, speaking of DOT, what I'm doing here. A little bit crazy, overweight. Story of my life. <clears throat> but take the back roads, just put along. Nice and slow and easy. Ain't hurting anyone. Try to make a dollar. I take down one car on this truck. I use a lot of fuel, big block, and uh, you know, not much profit. So, just makes sense. Take two at a time, and basically use the same amount of fuel either way. Pulling something or not, truck's gonna burn the fuel, so uh, yep, that's what we're doing. Guy that used to own this truck used to do this, but he had a car dolly which is just uh, two wheels, you know, those little dollies that you rent from U-Haul uh, or something. Put your minivan on there, you know. You're moving or something like that. Um, that's how he used to do it. Put one on the dolly, but he had, uh, he was a licensed dealer. He had a used car lot, too. So he had a dealer plate, and... Uh, he could just bolt that dealer plate on the car that was on the back, you know, it was on the dolly, touching the ground, so he was legal. But he also had this truck registered for way, way underweight. And uh, he also had it registered as a C20 for some reason. And I don't even know how that's possible, but he managed to register it as a C20 which is a three-quarter ton. And uh, the other thing was, is he uh, claimed he never had an inspection sticker on it. So he said that uh, he did that for about 12, 15 years. 
and uh, never got bothered, but kind of interesting anyway, but when I registered it, I put in the VIN number and everything and told them everything and it came out as a uh, 81 GMC C3500, which is a one ton. He swore that his that he had it registered as a C20, but I never seen his registration either, so he could have just been mistaken or had a had a mixed up day, you know what I mean? And uh, I did a few things and was able to get an inspection sticker on it, so um, yeah, pretty legit. The trailer hooks up fine to it, it's got a nice um, receiver on the back of it there. The only thing was there was no spot to put the safety chains, so I had to make my own longer chains on it. And uh, the trailer plug was different, and um, so I decided I was going to put my little uh, auxiliary tag lights. Little, they got magnets on them, you know. I was just going to put those on the back of the trailer just to make it that much more legit, even though it's daytime and everything, but. Turns out the plug back there that's wired to it, to the truck, is not, something's not right about it. It's not working right. Um, so that's going to have to be addressed and rewired. But other than that, it's uh, perfectly safe. And other than being really long, it's a little, little odd to drive, you know. The trailer is so far back there, but, I mean, the truck doesn't care. Pulls it great. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it works out. Like I said, halfway done the ride. It's a hot day. Got iced coffee. Of course, just made myself hotter by eating the chorizo and egg wrap. Salty, spicy. 